This in-service video is to provide you with basic instructions on using the EndoStitch 10mm single-use suturing device from AutoSuture. Please refer to the instructions for use packaged with the product for more information. The EndoStitch single-use suturing device is shipped sterile. Cartridge reloads or SULUs are also shipped sterile and supplied separately. Steps to use. Prior to loading, ensure that the metal bars are fully extended. To load the EndoStitch single-use suturing device, insert the open jaws of the device with the AutoSuture logo facing up into the single-use loading unit or SULU housing as shown. Press firmly on the apex of the jaws to ensure the jaws are fully seated. Completely squeeze the handles and pull both toggle levers back until you hear an audible click. Press down on the Sulu tab and remove the device and entire length of suture. Test to ensure that the needle is fully seated by passing the needle back and forth between the jaws of the device by squeezing and toggling the handle. Prior to introduction of the endostitch suturing device through a trocar sleeve, ensure that the jaws are locked in the closed position. To lock the jaws in the closed position, Squeeze the handles and push either of the toggle levers until the toggles are parallel and aligned with the molded arrows on the body housing. Note, the endostitch suturing device is designed for introduction and use through all appropriately sized trocar sleeves. Once the device is inside the body cavity, the jaws are opened by squeezing the handles and pushing either toggle lever completely forward. Once the handles are released, the needle is exposed and ready for use. To guide the needle through the tissue, close the jaws by completely squeezing the handles and reversing the position of the toggle levers until they stop. Note, toggles may only be activated when the handles and jaws are in a closed position. Failure to do so may damage the instrument. The needle has now been passed to the opposite jaw of the endostitch device. Open the jaws by releasing the handle to remove the needle from the tissue. Close the jaws and pull the suture through the tissue, leaving a tail. Repeat this action to place a running or interrupted stitch using endoscopic knot tying techniques until the stitch is complete. Prior to removal of the device, the jaws must be in a closed position. To remove the expended needle and suture, squeeze both handles and align the side toggle levers with the arrows on the instrument body housing. Simultaneously squeeze the handles and press the black reloading buttons on the front and back of the device and slide them completely forward to expose the red indicator boxes. Release the handles and remove the needle. Deposit the expended needle in a sharps container. The Auto Suture Endostitch Suturing Device comes in two handle lengths, 25 cm and 37 cm. There are a total of 32 suture cartridge reloads that are combinations of two lengths, four suture sizes, and four suture materials. For more information about Auto Suture Endostitch Suturing Devices, please refer to the instructions for use or refer to the Auto Suture product catalog at www.autosuture.com.